everybody, I'm Bree the Plant Lady, and today I am really trying to clear out my cool season seeds. I want to have this step behind me as we enter the new year, and knowing we have a very different weather pattern that is going to show up like overnight, I'm just sort of racing to get this stuff done. And what I'm going to do right now and show you is um, a big grain experiment. Now we've already done this last month in December at Johnson Nursery, which is about 30 miles from Wilmington, North Carolina. So it's a zone warmer than me, and they're gonna be a month ahead of me. But I got all the leftover seed. So you see these are huge bags, 50 pound bags. I never buy bags this big because I don't have enough property. But at Johnson Nursery, we actually did all of these different varieties in a field. Like they got planted with a tractor. I'm so excited. And we're gonna offer farm to table experiences with these grains when they're harvested next like May and June. So anyhow, I wanted to grow these out for myself, but I don't have enough room in the ground to plant them. So I'm gonna do a really simple thing. I am just gonna fill these three gallon pots with soil cube and I'm gonna do a different variety in each container. I'm gonna stage them right here in my work zone. That's super easy to water. I've got a hose right here, and I'll be able to look at it every day and really study and get to know these grains a little bit better. So I'm gonna get busy doing this process, and I will share these updates in my weekly garden tours. So be sure to subscribe if you wanna stay in the know as to how my 2022 Crazy Grain Lady experiments are going. Well, my work zone is really starting to look a lot cleaner than it was a day ago. Now the process is really simple. I'm gonna take seed from each variety. I'm gonna scatter it right in the pot and then I'm just mixing it by hand. I've learned that mulching is not actually a benefit. Um, actually kind of makes it a messier process for when it germinates. And then the most important thing of all is to make sure that every variety gets labeled properly. That way I don't lose track of what everything is. So this is Florida 401 something. Rye, Florida 401 rye. Now the leftover seed, I'm just gonna bring inside, I'm gonna package into um, Ziploc bags, large Ziploc bags, and then I will refrigerate it for the rest of the season. And it should be fine, refrigerated, it should have a great germination rate even next fall. That way I won't have to buy as much seed. All right, one down, what, 12 more to go. before dark and I've got all of the different grains growing or seeded here in these pots. I think this is going to be one of my best experiments yet. So remember, be sure to subscribe to Breathe the Plant Lady and follow up on my weekly garden tours because that is where I'm going to be giving regular updates from this experiment and all of the other experiments that I have going on in my garden. Thanks so much for watching everybody.